Welcome everybody, Akashinti, and you are joining me for a Twitch live stream. I've got Instagram here, Instagram Live, I've got Twitch here, and if you're catching the recording, you're catching the recording on YouTube. So what, what's going on with me? Well, first, before I even start this, if you guys are interested in anything, really, um, I highly encourage you to check out anti-syndicates who is the sponsor of this particular stream today so at anti-syndicates we offer e-commerce digital marketing and social media marketing solutions rising and clever influencers such as yourself who's coming in so without further ado today man oh i gotta charge my mac right now let's see um today what's been going on with me a couple things like i was just mentioning earlier everything from talking to a bunch of different types of people, right? And that's kind of in and of itself. Let's see. Hey, one second, guys. All right, here we go. Here we go. And that in and of itself is kind of interesting to me, right? It's every single person is a story. Every single person ha is literally like a living library. That's the best way that I can characterize it. And today, the library included everyone from, like I mentioned, um, couple people in finance like wealth managers um a couple debt collectors as well um who else was i speaking to a bunch of different trades people in the media and entertainment space people in the um printing space i would also i don't fall under me i guess office supplies and man it was just engaging right really really enjoyable one of the things that i've been practicing and doing um throughout my day and like continuing to come back to like returning to is this concept of just sticking with an idea in my mind um and even as i'm speaking to you right now i'm actually doing this practice right where it's like i'm coming back to an idea in my mind that i re repeat myself inside my mind Right, so it's not something that you, you can't physically see it. You can't like tangibly see like, oh, is he doing this? Not, right? It's that, that's not the way this works. But it's as I'm speaking, as I'm going about my day in whatever manner that I may be, um, it's repeating this to myself, repeating this phrase, repeating this really story. And it's a short story. It's nothing big. Um, but something that I found to be really, really powerful and impactful and just has the ability to change my behavior, my character in the present moment. And I say this because it's something I've just been experimenting with, right? I think every single day we kind of experiment with ourselves, or at least that's the way I treat my day, is that, yeah, there's certain things that I do that are my disciplines that I choose to do them for reasons that really i mean they, they just benefit me um and i've seen the effects of them profound effects of them so that's one reason um the other piece to it though is that i like to experiment with my life right i like to see how do i tweak this or how do i do that and play around with things right because i've found that in doing so i learn quite a bit about myself i learn about what works for me what doesn't work for me and why do i do the things that i do right i mean I don't know about you guys, but speaking for myself, every single day is really an exploration of the self, right? I get to know myself a little bit, to explore and, and understand who am I, what am I about? Um, and the thing is, every single day is a little bit different, right? There's certain days where it feels like, oh, wow, this is a remarkably similar day to another one, but. distinctly different from each other um and so i say all of this because even the days that it's like oh this is another thursday in quarantine and what is that like right it's maybe very similar to all the other thursdays stream right now and that's something that i've been doing for the past 
say four weeks now this is i think this is week number four or at the very it's three or four right so now it's like okay this is like part of my schedule it's part of my routine and so again i say all of this because it's every single twitch stream has been different even though i've had uh, about an hour to speak right or that I, I thought i've had i mean I, I guess i've had it but i've scheduled it right i've made that time for for that activity so each of them has been distinctly different everything but this the day the structure of the day the things that have gone on in the day might have been remarkably similar maybe exactly the same but um one thing i've i've learned from one of my teachers is that you never make up a class, right? You can't like make up the same class. You can um, take an additional class, but you can't make up the exact same class because the conditions that were present in that particular moment were present in that particular moment and they'll never be again, right? And so I say all of this because it's important to know that, important to remember that. So where does this bring me now? What am I kind of doing today? What story do I have to tell today? Well, um, one story that I have to tell today, that one that's been kind of, kind of, I've been coming back to, again and again, is this idea of sticking with it and um, sticking with it no matter how tough or whatnot it is. Well, I'm gonna leave this for you guys on Instagram. If you guys want to hear it more, I have a Twitch channel, Fantasia on Instagram, and uh, that. See you guys there. Cool. That was Instagram. Um, but yeah, as I talked about, one of the things I've been coming back to again and again is this idea of sticking with it, right? There's this poem, I think it's a poem, I don't know what it is, but it resides in my room and I see it just about every day. It's a really, really good reminder because it's something that I kind of need to see in my life, right? It's something that it's just, it's really important to me, you know, it's really, really important to me. And it's this idea, it's this message of don't quit, right? When life can be kind of tough, when things are, everything around you is kind of going, to, and again, I'm paraphrasing this, I'll probably read it. And you know what? That's what I'm going to do. All right, let's check this out. So this is the title of this poem is Don't Quit. I don't know who the author is. The author is unknown. But it was a gift that was given to me by my grandmother, my late grandmother. And she left it to me along with a couple. And I found to be really, really interesting. Um, and they've been there for me in ways that I can't even explain. Don't quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trudging seems all uphill, when the funds are low and the debts are high, and you want to smile, you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, Rest if you must, but don't you quit. Life is queer with its twists and turns, as every one of us sometimes learns. And many a failure turns about when he might have won had he stuck it out. Don't give up, though the pace seems slow. You might succeed with another blow. Success is failure turned inside out. Silver tints of the cause of doubt. And you can never tell how close you are. It may be near, it seems so far. So stick to the fight when your heart is hit, when things seem worst that you must. Again, I say this poem, I guess it really is a poem. Is it something that I look at and I see? At the very least, did you see the title of it, right? Yes. I'll just see the title of it. My room. And it's a reminder of stick to it you know stick with it and i really like the way the phrasing of it something beautiful in my opinion about poetry about the rhythm to it the rhyme the reason in and of itself even this twitch stream right i don't know why i'm doing it but i like to do it I kind of I enjoy this like hour of time where it's like just talk for an hour you know what what comes out of you if you speak for an hour I'll question to you what comes out more often than not I really have no idea um 
sometimes nonsense, other times science, but more often than not, a combination of the two, because what is one without the other? But it's also a, like a stage, a venue, it's a time for me to express myself and, and speak my thoughts to the world. I tend to keep to myself quite a bit as it relates to, I guess, talking, right? I mean, I, I talk to quite a few people throughout the day, but they're mostly private conversations, not really public. And so I use this time almost as like a um, I spend a lot of time in silence. That aside, aside from the silence, what am I, like I mentioned, being in private part of my day. And so, I'm just reminded as to what more can I say? What more do I have to offer? And the truth is, I mean, the, the value that I have to offer is limitless. Can you find it? Can you see? I know the values there. I know what I speak about is valuable and speak about the other body. And yet at the same time, do you see the that's on you? The other thing I've been noticing a lot in my life is just the level of tension within my body or, or even relaxation. Um, what goes on inside of me when I have conversations with others, with people, and myself, and just seeing myself in a little Twitch studio thing, just in the frame right now. What goes on? What, what feelings come about? And every time it's different, right? It's like, and as I'm speaking right now, there's subtle body, like, there's subtle feelings within my body that I just find them to be quite interesting because more often than not, we don't have language, actually, to describe a lot of these things. I mean, yeah, we do for some of them, right? And that's kind of what emotions are, right? It's like that feeling of maybe, like, I've talked about, I think, this in the past, like, anger. It's like feeling of anger, at least, I mean, I can only speak for myself, is... I remember like kind of like a reddening of the face and uh, like the skin on the extre maybe on the extremities, like the skin on the outside of like outside of my skin, right? That tends to get a little warmer. Um, so yeah, those are just that's the anger, right? There's sadness where it's almost like I notice the breathing there, right? It's like almost like a like panicked breathing, right? That's the other big thing is like the breathing patterns of emotions are really, really interesting. And that's one thing as an actor, um, and actors really study, right? Is when, when, what is the, um, what's the breathing pattern of something? What are the ways that an individual looks at things? And they study it within themselves, right? That's the only way that you can really study emotions is by observing it and, and becoming aware of it in the moments of the natural life. Right? Because the best acting is when you're not really doing anything extra, right? The best acting I found is when you're simply just being yourself, right? You're tapping into whatever your emotions, natural emotions are, um, the, the ways that you naturally behave when you're acting in a particular way or when you're experiencing a particular emotion. So I say all of this because um, there's a level of self-awareness that's needed. And it's something that I've kind of, I just continue to find really, really interesting is to What's going on within my body? Why do I feel these particular sensations? What's coming up? Um, how does that feel? Why am I acting this way? Why am I behaving this way? What's what's going on? And sometimes it's it's events from the outside that that trigger a particular type of behavior or some such thing. But then there's other times where it's like nothing. It seems like there's nothing. I'm just sitting in my room sometimes, and I might even feel uh, a particular type of emotion. It's like why is that coming up? I don't know. Truth is, I have no idea. But maybe the other reason, right? Maybe there's something that happened earlier in the day that I still hadn't digested or I hadn't dealt with, and thus it's re it's uh, cycling itself. But that's kind of interesting. Really, really interesting. I'm I'm realizing. So just as we finished up the morning of March, looking at my calendar, I like to keep a calendar of um, obviously the of the month, right? And just things that I want to get done within that month. 
each day has almost like a theme to it, right? Thursdays for, for me for the month of, month of March were Twitch Thursdays, right? That was one of my big things for, for the month of March was start a Twitch stream. And I've done it, right? This is, again, like I mentioned, three, number three or number four Twitch stream. And um, man, I'm grateful that I've kept up with it, you know? For me, it's like a, a six-month project. See what goes on for the next six months or so. Is it something I want to continue doing? Is it not? I don't know. And I haven't played much around with Twitch, right? As it relates to the features, right? I've only, I've just done the basic, basic bare bones, right? Of just open Twitch studio, click stream, bam. I'm just, they have a couple different um, scenes, if you will. And I've only just played with the, the two of them, right? So I don't know how, um, I don't really know too much about the scenery and all that fun stuff, but I mean, it's there. Um, so that's that. Um, but as I look through the, the month, of Mar month of March as well, and I'm kind of just reflecting on it in real time right now, I got quite a few things done, a couple different events, a little bit of resting, a couple of things done, um, a lot of things done. It's interesting. Just looking at it and seeing how is that time spent? I spend it in the best way possible. Well, I don't know. Truth is, I mean, I spent it, right? It's like, that's done. And in some capacity, in some way, shape, or form, um, something within me thought that this was the best way to spend it. And I trust that, right? It's like, who am I to question how I spent my time in some degrees? But then other degrees, yeah, maybe. Um, but I guess with that, what I'm saying is, like, I really mean that. I appreciate each moment that I spent. I appreciate looking back at the month and seeing how it went. And... I appreciate being here right now. I talk about this, this sense of appreciation. It's something I could have, especially in interacting. Um, is that when I, when I meet people, when I talk to people, I do my best to start from a place of gratitude and appreciation, especially when it deals, when it's like dealing with things that are a little bit more difficult to deal with, difficult conversations, whatever they may be. Anything from talking to a, I don't know, someone that you may owe money to, or I may owe money to, uh, and it, or um, speaking with someone I might have a conflict with, whether it be perceived or real. Um, all these things, I, the first thing that I start off with, or I aim to start off with, is that sense of gratitude, right? Because without it, without that individual, without that conversation, without just this moment right now where you're listening to me and I'm speaking to you. There's this sense of, I don't know, right? It's like, you're here, I'm here. Why not appreciate each other at the very least and start from that base? And, and then from there, um, build off, jump off, see where it goes, right? And it's like, I know where it will go. Um, but at the very least, knowing that it's starting from a place of respect, well, know that that's where I started and that's where I'll end and that's what I do my best is like to start from gratitude and end with gratitude I and mean, that's what, even in my personal life right it's like I was going through my got my gratitude journal right over there and it's one thing I just write five grad five things I'm grateful for every single day I was going through it because it's been about been about a little over a year that I've been doing this maybe about a year and a quarter really since 2020 but even before that I was doing it but just not as regularly and I was looking back at the things that I've been grateful for every day. And there's certain days where the things that I've been grateful for are things I'm like, how are you grateful for that, right? Like, why would you possibly write that down? Then there's other times where the things that I write that I'm grateful about, like, for example, like my debts, right? Like, I, I write, I'm grateful for my debts. I be grateful. It's like, I don't know, why, why not? It's given me the experience of what I've been living, right? I'm grateful that I had my car revisited. I'm grateful that I live with my family. I'm grateful that I'm doing Twitch. I'm grateful that I don't know. I, it, now it's just getting me excited now, you know. And that's something that's been interesting, right? Because it's the things that I, uh, in the past, would complain about or um, bitch about that I found myself becoming more grateful for. And again, it's because I don't know. Like, what what else could I? What else could I do with that, right? I could find myself negative at that about it, and I could find myself bitter about it, and 
and that's one way of going about it but psh, i mean why what's enjoyable about that nothing what's what's fulfilling about that nothing so i say all of this because i don't know it's it's important i think it's really really important the other thing is i found the importance of reaching out to other people right the importance of giving a phone call to someone and just checking in hey how are you doing what's going on with you what's new with you you know all of these things are small the importance of that man it's so powerful i say that because just knowing that someone's thinking about you right and and not only just thinking about you but thinking about you enough to want to reach out and connect with you I and mean, that's powerful I don't know about you, but I can speak for myself that there's days where it's like, man, it's tough. Like, what if I wasn't? Right? What if I didn't have to deal with all this? And that's a way of thinking, right? And, and again, like I said, I'm being candid with you in the sense that I've had those days. And, and they're not fun days. <sighs> but. I found on those days when I reach out to someone else, when I check in, when I see what's going on, um, that, I don't know, I pick up on whatever energy they might be bringing to me. I mean, it changes my day fundamentally, right, in ways of, well, it could bring me something, they could be going through an even rougher time of something that I'm going through. Meanwhile, here, I'm like, oh my gosh, what was me? this is what my life is like and then then i hear something else of, of something even more grave like right like oh well i'm in i don't know it could be something of like, oh i just was diagnosed with a terminal disease right i mean that's pretty wow meanwhile look at me i've got i'm very healthy got really nothing to i've, I've got food in my stomach I, it's like i'm not dealing with something that's immediately terminal right and even that, right? A terminal disease is like, how much is it really a terminal disease? Well, I'm not a doctor, so don't tell. I'm just, I'm just a storyteller. So take what I'm saying with a grain of salt. But I don't know. Even terminal diseases. I mean, life is a terminal disease, right? Once you're born, you're gonna die. And so I have a terminal disease. It's called life. Bam. Right. So and then people are like, oh, but I've got cancer. It's like, well, yeah. You knew the second that you were gonna, you were living, you were gonna die. I mean, that's, that's that, right? That's why. I, use every or at least i try i do the best that i can to use every single moment to the best of my ability to really like honor that right honor that i'm living with a terminal disease um and how am i gonna live how am i gonna spend that time well i don't know but what i do know is i'm gonna try to do my to, that's what i'm gonna do now to the best of my ability i'm gonna live in an enjoyable way and have fun and be grateful you know play right? these are all the things that i aim to do and make some friends along the way i mean there's no real reason to have enemies um but enemies come about in some way shape or form so learn to fight as well um i just want to experience it all the emotions of it experiences of everything that's what i want to experience right it's like i want to have i want to know what it's like to be super super wealthy i want to know what it's like to be super super poor i want to know what it's like to be completely lonely or what it's like to be surrounded by everything I want to know all of these feelings. I want to know all of these emotions. I want to explore it all. I want to know what it's like to start a business. I want to know what it's like to work somewhere. I want to know what it's like to everything, you know? And these are only just a few things and I'm experiencing, I'm exploring more and more. What are these the ones that I really want to experience versus the ones maybe not so much, right? Like, I don't know. There's certain things in my life that I do want to experience. There's others, maybe not so much. But I found that the things that I don't want to experience are actually the things that I, in some way, shape, or form, may end up making myself experience. And I say this in the sense of, that's like, 
whatever I might resist, I'm like, oh no, I can't, I can't experience that, right? For the longest time, I was like, I can't experience not having any money. And then that happened. And then I was like, oh, not so bad. So it's the things that we think that we don't want to experience that almost open us up to a new way of seeing the world, a new way of being. I don't know. And it's really interesting because more and more I'm I'm recogni I'm recognizing that there's nothing to be like have a judgment experience whether it be positive whether it be negative even that right it's like why well, have a positive or negative experience about it right it's just an experience why not just experience it right? why do I have to put so much words and language around things unnecessarily sometimes. Um, and more often than not, actually, necessarily, right? It's like thinking about, oh, is this positive? Is this negative? How should I react to this? And blah, blah, blah. And it's like, dude, you're missing the whole thing of experience. As I was just talking about earlier, the emotions that are going on through the body. That's what I'm kind of interested in. That's what I'm curious about. It's like, what else is there to really be curious about, right? What else is there to notice? I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I can look at the outside. Yeah, I can study biology and, and, and the ways that it works. Yeah, I can understand financial markets and why money is the way that it is and what's wealth and, and what is economics, all of these things that I've been interested in one way, shape, or form. In the past, I can study seduction, that relationship that dynamic between the masculine and the feminine and just understanding what is it and why is it the way that it is and what drives it and all of these things. study all of these things and I do study all of these things. but for what really candidly and what's going on inside of me what's what is this why am I why am I like this that's what I'm here to figure out why am I like this I don't know and truth is I probably will never know but spending my life figuring that out and so through different experiences through different realities through the forms of media play with it a little bit. I get to learn about myself a little bit more even by doing this right by doing this twitch I get to know a little bit more so i could speak for another 20 minutes and I may speak for another 20 minutes. That's still up in the air. At the same time, I'm also a bit hungry. Much today. Fasting. Morning, day. And. Where do I begin? Here. Okay. I'll be right back. But do I do this? Check this out. Oh, do I do that? I don't know. I could. I just did it, right? So, I mean, I could do that. Will I be right back? I don't know if I will be right back. Um, I really don't. Could I, could I stream more? Could I even stream during the day? I possibly could. Uh, would it be interesting? I don't know. Was that what Twitch was originally made for? Potentially. Um, all of these questions kind of come about, and I really had no answer for it. But what I do know is that I'm really hungry right now, and I don't know how many of you are tuning in, but it doesn't seem like all too many, which isn't actually really important. What's actually more important is that I said, well, I'm going to be doing this for this amount of time, so let me do it. And yet, at the same time, I've already done the Twitch stream, and I'm, I'm streaming at the moment right now. So, toss up. Do I do it? Do I not? If you guys are still tuning in, write down below in the comments section. Should I leave right now, or should I not? I don't know. That's a little poll right there. It gives you some interactivity. But what I will leave you on, if I do leave you, if this is, in fact, goodbye, which I'm not sure it entirely is. But if it is... What I will leave you on is this concept of gratitude. In other words, I'm grateful that you've tuned in today. That you've listened to what I've had to share with the world as I was just about to sneeze. And with that, well, keep up, thrive, and stay sexy.